but I'll go over it for you. All right, so uh, by, solving this ver by solving this identity, we can look at two different sides that we want to solve for or simplify. And I'm pretty sure I can get everybody to agree that working on the left side is going to be the ideal side to simplify, right? Because this side's pretty much already simplified, right? So let's work on the left side. All right, so ladies and gentlemen, we, the first thing we want to do is apply operations. It's asking us to have cosine of theta times cotangent theta divided by 1 minus sine of theta to subtract it by 1. So let's apply that operation. But I can't just subtract by 1. I have to make sure it has the same denominator, right? You have to have common denominators. So therefore, I am going to multiply by 1 minus sine of theta on the top and bottom. So therefore, what we have is cosine of theta times cotangent of theta minus 1. I'm sorry, minus, minus, uh, there we go, 1 minus sine of theta, all divided by 1 minus sine theta squared. No, that's dose. 1 minus sine theta. Does everybody follow me with what I did so far? They have the same denominator, 1 minus sine of theta. Okay. Okay. So, um, and this is going to equal over here. Now, the next thing is, let's go and see maybe if we can simplify our numerator a little bit um, before we get somewhere. So, let's simplify the numerator. Um, the one we could do that is distribute the negative one, and then let's maybe rewrite cotangent as cosine <coughs> over sine. So, I could have cosine of theta times Cosine of theta times cosine of theta divided by sine of theta minus 1 plus sine of theta divided by 1 minus sine of theta. All right. Now, the reason why I would do this is because I, I got to somehow simplify this numerator, right? I got to make this look something like we're going to um, somehow going to combine all these. Now, the only way I can combine all of these is if the numerator all has the same denominators. And you can see the only denominator that I see is sine, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to combine all of these with the same denominator of sine. That means I'm going to have to multiply 1 by sine of theta over sine of theta. Sine over 1, I have to multiply by sine of theta over sine of theta. And then here, since I'm multiplying this across, I don't need to multiply this term. So therefore, on my new numerator, I have cosine squared of theta over sine of theta minus sine of theta over sine of theta plus sine squared of theta over sine of theta. Whoa. This is all supposed to equal what? Cosecant? Uh-huh. So when simplifying these all, what I have is cosecant squared of theta minus sine squared of theta plus sine squared of theta all over sine of theta. Now cosine squared plus sine squared is going to add up to? Cosine squared plus sine squared adds up to? 1. So we could say that these are going to eliminate now to 1. So in reality, I actually have 1 minus sine of theta divided by sine of theta. And that's in my numerator. And that equals 1 minus, or that's divided by 1 minus sine of theta. So yes? Where are you looking at? Here? Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. I wrote it wrong. It's not cosecant. It's cosine. Sorry. 
OK, so I kind of ran out of room. This equals that. This equals. That equals. That equals. Um, so I just kind of separate. I just kind of started working on the numerator right here, but all of this is still in your in your numerator as here's your denominator. So now I'm set up to this is my function. So I have here's my numerator, and then here's my denominator. Now this still does not look like cosecant, does it? No, right? Um, so we got an issue. So what do I need to do is, how do I get this off my denominator? Well, you can multiply it by its reciprocal, right? 1 over 1 minus sine of theta. 1 over 1 minus sine of theta. Well, any term multiplied by its reciprocal multiplies out to 1. Then, when you multiply the, or the top, the numerator, by the reciprocal, those multiply out to 1, and you're left with 1 over sine of theta, which equals cosecant of theta. Does anybody have a question? I know it's kind of hard to follow and look up there, but does anybody have a question on a step that I did or why I did it? Nico, first step, second step? All right. It's a pretty difficult um, problem because it, it's involving a lot of different steps. My recommendation for you guys to make sure is just combine. Like when you guys see this right side, I have all these terms I need to combine. You have to just make sure you're combining them with like denominators. All right? And just keep on combining them and adding them up and then get my denominator off. And that's pretty much how we worked it. All right, so you guys want me to do